will proceed in vector field and we will see curl test. So integration is intimidating for people then I believe it is intimidating for others. Curl test. We have discussed about the kind of concept behind curl test, but I have never said that this is curl test. What is curl? Okay, so if I kind of, uh, if I take this and if I do like this, then this is curling. Okay, I believe, I don't know how much it will be shown. Or if I take this and if I do like this, okay, so this is curling. Curling, now what we saw that if I want path, in, if I want line integral, all integration, every calculus integration is line integral only, either line integration, line integral across line integration with x axis y axis or x y plane in 3d so the line integral now we have seen so if capital f is a vector field and we want the integration along the differentiation along directional dif directional derivative along a vector integration along a vector or integration along a vector field if it is vector field then it comes as line curve so integration along a line curve for a vector field f so vector field f is there and integration of vector field f along a another line curve that is u is called integ line integral of vector field capital F. This is what we saw. And if it is capital F and then is integral along line vector, line curve, that is vector field U, then it is capital F, vector field capital F dot D, that is the sign we give in integration, D and U vector so if this is vector field and this is u this is vector field and this is u then integration of this vector field along u that is line integral line integral of the vector field along u then if this vector field is capital f if this vector field is capital f and this is the line curve is u then capital F that is vector field dot D U vector integration limit is what I want limit in the in the direction of U from one point to other point first limit to the next limit A to B this is line integral now what people saw that if I calculate this line integral then it results in an algebraic equation that is small f, that is a function. But if they calculate the gradient of a small f, then it becomes capital F. Okay. Or if I say that if I get f and if I calculate gradient vector, then if it becomes capital F. Okay then it is a kind of uh, it is a kind of a situation if capital if small f that is the resultant of the line integral line integral of capital f with dot du along the line curve result in a function that is small f it is also called potential function the gradient of potential function gradient means if a potential function is small f Okay, so if potential function, if potential function is small f, if potential function is small f, okay, 
So if potential function is small f, then df by dx i, that is a gradient vector, df by dx i plus df by dy j, okay, that is the capital F dot d u vector. If I do integral of this, then that would result in an algebraic function small f df by dx i plus df by dy j i direction j direction this is called typically called gradient vector this gradient vector is equal to capital f typically if that is true then i can if f and gradient vector of a small f are related to each other then i can calculate gradient as uh, potential function f small f directly from the capital f if i am able to calculate the grad the potential function small f directly from capital f i need to find integral of capital f dot du u u vector is the line curve if that integral is a small f al algebraic function, if I calculate gradient of this small f, then I get the capital F back. This proves that small f or gradient of a small f is related with capital F. If that is true, then with capital F itself, I can calculate the potential function small f. The path is not required. So with capital F, I would try with capital F if I am able to calculate the potential function. Otherwise, potential function, poten calculating the potential function, probably it needs the full integral. But if I am able to calculate the capital F, capital F, capital F, if I do some computation and then I can, I am able to calculate the small f with capital F, small f, then capital F is called path independence. Path in the independence in the sense, whatever result I was getting with capital F dot du, that is small f, small f I am getting directly from capital F. If I am getting directly from the, because this was proved other way. If I am doing the line integral and I am getting the potential function of small f, then small f's gradient people saw that df by dx i plus df by dy j, the gradient of this small f is nothing but capital F. Okay, this proves that small f is related to capital F. Now people tried calculating a small f directly from capital F. How they can calculate is capital F is a vector, vector field. It has F1 component, F2 component, F3 component, like F1i plus F2j plus F3k plus F4. Now, if, if I do integration of F1 with dx, F2 with dy, F3 with dz, like that, then if I do F1, capital F1, vector field capital F can be written as F1 capital I vector plus F2 J vector plus F3 K vector like this. Now, if I say F1 dx, now vector is gone, now it is algebra, F1 dx, F1 dx plus F2 dy plus F3 dz. If I do like this, then F1 dx, F1 dx turns into potential function small f. f2 dy turns into potential function small f. f3 dz turns into potential function small f. If that is true, then small f df by dx is f1. f1 dx is small f, then f1 equal to if f small df by dx. So, if I calculate d, if I calculate integration of, I mean the integral form of capital F1 dx, then I get the potential function f. Potential function f plus any function of y plus any function of z.
ओके सो आई हैव अ वेक्टर फील्ड कैपिटल एफ वेक्टर फील्ड कैपिटल एफ इक्वल टू एफ वन आई प्लस एफ टू जे प्लस एफ थ्री के इफ आई कैलकुलेट इफ आई सी इफ इंटीग लाइक फ्रॉम वेक्टर फील्ड कैपिटल एफ हाउ आई कैन कैलकुलेट पोटेंशियल फंक्शन स्मॉल एफ दैट इज द रिक्वायरमेंट नाउ द काइंड ऑफ द इफ आई डू नाउ इफ आई से इफ आई से ग्रेडियंट ऑफ वेक्टर ग्रेडियंट ऑफ पोटेंशियल फंक्शन स्मॉल एफ इज कैपिटल एफ देन ग्रेडियंट वेक्टर हियर इज स्मॉल एफ डी एफ बाई डी एक्स आई प्लस डी एफ बाई डी वाई जे प्लस डी एफ बाई डी जेड के एंड हियर दिस साइड इट इज एफ वन आई प्लस एफ टू जे प्लस एफ थ्री के इफ आई मैच दिस देन इट बिकम्स पोटेंशियल फंक्शन एफ इज नथिंग बट एफ वन डी एक्स और एफ टू डी वाई और एफ थ्री डी जेड नाउ इफ आई यूज द काइंड ऑफ इंटेलिजेंस इन कैलकुलेटिंग द पोटेंशियल सेम पोटेंशियल फंक्शन थ्रू एफ वन डी एक्स इंटीग्रेशन और एफ टू डी वाई और एफ थ्री डी एज डी जेड ऑल थ्री देन वी विल गेट फुल पोटेंशियल फंक्शन एफ इफ वी आर एबल टू गेट इट देन कैपिटल एफ दैट इज वेक्टर फील्ड इज पाथ इंडिपेंडेंट इफ इट इज पाथ इंडिपेंडेंट देन वॉट इज द सीनारियो दैट वी हैव सीन many cases it is not possible that it is path independent we took example the vector field equal to 2 xy i plus xy j the vector field capital f equal to 2 xy 2 xy i plus xy j if that is the case that that is the vector field then let's calculate the potential function of small f small f is nothing but f1 dx so f1 is 2 xy dx i have to integrate So that will become x square by two, x square by two. So two x y will become x square y, x square y. So potential function f small f is now x square y plus any function of only y. So that if I do df by dx again, it will result in two x y plus zero. Okay. So here now we have potential function f. Equal to x square plus y plus any function c of y only. Now, if I do df by dy here, it will result in x square plus dc by dy. C is any function of y. Now, df by dy is nothing but f two. So f two is x y. So x y equal to x square. Okay, okay. So df by dy that is xy capital f is 2 xy i plus xy j so df by df by dx is 2 xy so f equal to 2 xy integral with dx that is true that result in x square y plus any function of y simple y so that if i do potential function df by dx again i get the f1 that is x two x y plus nothing. This is the requirement. Now small f equal to x square plus any c function of y. Then d f by d y that is f two is x y. So x y equal to x square plus d c by d y. So d c by d y equal to x y minus x square. Now, if I want c function over y, then I have to integrate x y minus x square, and it must be only function of y. This is the requirement to get the c. D c by d y equal to x y minus x square. If I want c y, then integral integral will have x. This proves that vector field capital F that is two x i plus i plus x y j. we can cannot calculate a small f that is potential function this proves that this may not be path independent or this is not path independent if that is the case and we want line integral of capital f along any line du then any line curve du at a parabola circle whatever then we have to calculate the integral because it is not path independent 
if it is path independent then whatever the integral was we have got it through the potential function through capital f end result is available only through the capital f path is not required so i can just if i have received potential function of small f with capital f and that is equal to capital f dot d d u that is the line path then f dot d u that integral i will just substitute with small f then lower limit higher limit. so this is path independent in the sense that potential function potential function i get through the vector field this is path independent one way to calculate the integral also not only to prove the path independence we got the integral also but not required that i get the net integral if i prove it that it is path independent then that is also enough because if i do capital f vector field dot du that is the path and i know capital f is path independent then u the line curve i will make it a straight line rather than some, rather than some complex polynomial exponential sinusoidal equation i'll pay, make a straight line and then line integral would be easy so only thing i need to prove is that vector field f is line independent then we saw that this is the case if it in a in a closed loop closed loop in the beginning point and end point is same in a closed loop if the line integral is zero then it is it is it is path independent because in closed loop if it is path dependent then it cannot be zero if i divide path into two sections from here to here and here to here back again then in this path integration will be different and this path line integral will be different if i add these two then suddenly it will not be zero so if it is zero then it is path independent if it is path independent then for any kind of closed loop it should be zero either it is a square or it is a circle anywhere if it is a very infinitesimal small circle if those are the scenario then it can pass from anywhere then vector field f must be continuous in the region where the closed path we are talking so if it has a hole then we cannot prove through the closed loop then this is the second way we can prove that vector field is path independent the third way that came into the picture called curl testing curl testing is if capital vector f capital in capital vector field f equal to f1 i plus f2 j if that is the case and then it results in potential function small f then capital f1 equal to df small f potential function df by dx i okay so capital f1 equal to df by dx if that is true then df1 by dy equal to d2 f by dx d1 and then we have f2 equal to df by dy df2 by dx is d2f by dy dx now we so if we see the both term that i have done both mathematics that i have done against the potential function then it is one is d2f by dx dy and one other is d2f by dy dx dx dy is nothing but is nothing but it's a plane dx is integral along x axis dy is integral along y axis dx dy is integral along xy plane d2f by dx dy or d2f by dy dx both are talking about the xy plane both are same so if i consider that it is line independent if it is line independent then vector field capital f has two components f1 and f2 then f1 equal to potential function small f df by dx and f2 equal to df by dy if i said df1 by dy and df2 by dx then that side it results in d2f by dx dy and d2f by dy dx if that is the case then both are equal if that is equal then this side it is also equal if it is path independent then d of capital f by dy equal to d of capital f2 by dx if i subtract it then it should be zero so d2f 
डी एफ टू बाई डी वाई माइनस डी एफ वन बाई कैपिटल एम डी एफ वन बाई डी एक्स शुड बी जीरो दैट और आई कैन से द द क्लोज लूप ओके द लाइन इंटीग्रल ऑफ क्लोज कर कैपिटल वेक्टर एफ डॉट डी यू एलोंग द लाइन इक्वल टू डी टू एफ टू डी ऑफ एफ टू बाई डी वाई माइनस डी ऑफ एफ वन बाई डी एक्स दैट इज इक्वल टू जीरो if it is fast independent anyway we will proceed so if that is the case then it is fast so first one is called closed loop testing closed loop testing is if it is zero then it is fast independent or another is d df2 by dy minus df1 by dx capital f if if that is zero then again it is a closed loop so three way we have talked that it is a proof that it is a path independent one is there is a potential function small f that should be derived from the vector field f directly not with the full line integral if it is there then it is it is path independent vector field capital f is path independent or if closed loop integral of vector field with dot du vector is zero then vector field f is path independent provided vector field f is continuous in the region or d of f2 by dy minus d of f1 by d d of f2 by dx minus d of f1 by dy is zero then again we consider that vector field f is path independent if that is the case then vector field f must be continuous in the region first scenario second scenario is that vector field f1 vector field df2 by dx and df1 by dy this differential must also be continuous that is required in the region if that is the true then we have three tests so the third test is called curl testing curl because f2 f2 is a kind of vector that is y component of vector field f if there is a vector field f then its x component is f1 and y component is f2 if that is true then we are differentiating y component with dx and differentiating the x component with dy so it will kind of do the churning churning okay so this is called curl so df2 by dx minus df1 by dy is zero or they are both are equal then it is path independent can you sense something line integral closed loop line integral of vector field f dot d u closed loop line integral of vector field f dot d u u is line curve this this integral is zero when it is a vector field f is path independent that is same as since it is zero it is same as path independent then it is same as d f2 by d x minus d f1 capital d f1 by d y because both are zero if they are equal when it is path independent then still they have relationship when they are path dependent okay so capital f1 line integral of capital f1 dot along any line curve u capital f1 vector dot du vector okay integral from a to b if this is a, in a closed loop if this is zero if this is zero then it is equal to df2 by dx minus df1 by dy that is also zero in closed loop if it is not zero then so there is one mr green means his mind <laughs> runs faster to any normal mathematician or human now he has started thinking that if it is path independent then closed loop testing or curl testing both result in zero what about in closed loop 
in closed loop if it is not path independent what will happen if it is path independent then f dot du is 0 and df2 by d1 dx and d minus df1 by dy is 0 if it is path dependent then how they are if it is path independent closed loop line integral and curl both are same because both are zero if it is path dependent then if it is path dependent then again they are again equal and they don't they are not zero if they are equal then certainly the line integral of capital vector field dot capital vector field dot du vector line integral and that is in a closed loop it should be equal to df2 by dx minus df1 by dy but i have to complete this integral so he says that if i integrate df2 by dy df2 by dx minus df1 by dy capital f along the xy plane dx dy and then i place two limit x limit and y limit if i am placing two limit then certainly this is that we are calculating integration over a region if i am calculating line integral then i am calculating integration over the line it after all it is a line integral the closed loop integral the normal line integral capital f dot du u is line curve line integral of capital f along u line so u line is a closed loop but there is a reason inside it, right? If I say that this is my, <laughs> this is my u line, this is my u, u line curve, this is my u vector field, then capital F, if this is capital F and this is my line, then capital F dot du vector is a line integral of capital F vector field along this line. What about this line forms a closed loop? then begin and end both are at same position can you see this now this vector field will be the integration will be done along full line curve because it is a line integral but at the end there is a reason inside it can you see there is a two dimensional reason inside it if i calculate curl in this reason then that is also a line integral this is what Mr. Green, where he is really green with wonderful mind. Means one of the purest mind at least I have seen in area of mathematics. Then he sees why it is something this if I am very inclined to line integral, vector field f along this line integral, this line integral, doing, 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 doing. Finally, I came to the line integral of a closed region, closed, closed curve. Then knowingly unknowingly i created a reason circular reason then in this circular reason if i do the integration of df2 by dx minus df1 by dy if i do this it results in an algebraic equation of x and y if i do integration over this reason this reason is an area if i call it xy plane some reason in xy plane then i have to integrate with the independent variable dA area or dxy plane or dx dy. Limit is from x. Now, if I take in Cartesian coordinate from x to y minus radius plus radius minus radius plus radius. So, if I do, then it is kind of we can still calculate the dependent if vector field is not independent, path independent, path dependent also. And if it is a closed loop and direction is, is anti-clockwise, this is what Mr. Green says, that if, because if I do integration, then I do in a direction. The line curve has a direction. It's a vector. Right? So if it is anti-clockwise, because reason should come left side of it. If it is anti-clockwise, from my side it is anti-clockwise. If it is anti-clockwise, then whatever reason we are saying, if it is clockwise, you can do negative. Negative means opposite. If it is anti-clockwise, whatever reason is inside this, if that is the reason, then I can call it dx dy. Then df2 by dy 
df2 by dx minus df1 capital df1 where f1 and f2 are component of vector field capital M df2 by dx minus df1 by dy if I do this integration with dx and dy and that integration I set limit okay for the x and y then it results it results in a kind of calculating the line integral of a vector field along the boundary so if there is a vector field f a vector field capital f and i want a line integral along a boundary that is a closed then doing the mathematics on doing the mathematics on the closed region also calculate the line integral along the line this is what mr green says df2 by dx minus df1 by dy integration with dx and dy and then placing the limit so this is what he is kind of claiming can someone prove the green's theorem okay so proving green theorem okay whatever we find nothing is mine what everything is available you can check on internet so proving green theorem typically prove people prove the green theorem in an in a rectangle so if i have a closed loop and closed loop in the form of rectangle this is rectangle right and then this and then this so this is rectangle if this is rectangle then it is also a closed loop so if the horizontal line okay what we see that equation is y equal to a means consider it is confined between in x direction a to b x direction it is a to b and in y direction it is c to d so x is a and b and y is c and d if that is true then lower left corner is a comma c right corner okay right corner is b comma c top right corner is d comma c and left top corner is a right top corner is b comma d and left top corner is a comma d that is a rectangle now let you can now we can calculate the line integral of all four parts any any curve i can cut into different parts and this is the one fundamental of the line integral line integral we can cut right if i have to calculate integration from a to b and there is another point c in between that is same as a to c and c to b same thing i can cut it down so i can cut down into four sections and then from a to b along the y equal to c one will calculate then another c to d along x equal to b another is okay next is b to a x along y equal to d and then d to c along along x equal to a if these four section if i calculate that is nothing but line integral line integral in a closed loop line integral in a closed loop if i calculate line integral in a closed loop then that should be equal to df2 by dx minus df1 by dy dx dy integral so from a to b and y from c to d this is the expectation can we try so now I have I'll take first horizontal line that is from A to B where Y is C. Now if I now what is the line integral that is F1 F1 dx plus F2 dy and then I have to plate place the limit. This is line integral F1 F1 dx line integral is nothing but capital f 
dot d the line curve vector the line curve vector any line curve vector i can represent with x i plus y j irrespective of any line curve if that is true then vector field is capital f is f1 i plus f2 j dot d of x i plus y j d of x i plus y j is nothing but d x i plus d y j that would result in f1 d x plus f2 d y and then integration from first point to the last point. So, 